All right, my friends, guess what? My favorite store just opened. Well, not, not really. They haven't opened just yet. There's a free opening reception at Noble at the uh, Lemon Mint is the name of it. So we're going to talk to the owner, and he's going to join us right here right now. Hi, good evening. My name is Michael Frisbee, and welcome to the new Noble Hartford Gas Station convenience store. Um, today we're having our pre-opening reception uh, for our contractors who did a wonderful job, uh, for some of the city officials that helped us out through the process, and mostly our neighbors. We want to welcome everybody in the neighborhood to our, our new store. Uh, we have our gas station convenience store. We also have a, uh, a state-of-the-art food offering, which will have coffee, our own coffee program. Uh, we'll have uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, grab and go. Uh, we also have our Frisbee's Dairy Barn ice cream. We make our fresh ice cream in New Britain. We're bringing that here to Hartford as well. We have, we'll have some seating. We'll also have some outdoor uh, seating areas. And, uh, you know, we're, uh, we're excited to be here in the city of Hartford. Upstairs we have uh, apartment units that we're going to be renting out in a, in a few weeks. And hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to get some people in the neighborhood excited about that today. So uh, can we take a little tour of the store here? That would be great, yeah. So, All right, show me around. So as you see, as you can see, um, we, we have, it's more, more of a, instead of just a convenience store, we call it a market. We're gonna have some fresh fruits and vegetables as well. Just not ready for that yet, but we have, uh, we have household items. We also have the, uh, the convenience store items. Uh, we've got milk, juice, bread, eggs. We've got all different types of drinks. Um, we've got all kinds of candy and things for the kids uh, when they come through. We'll have a lottery machine. Um, we have cigarette sales and that kind of thing. Um, so if we want to mosey on this way, we'll show you. We've got the uh, scent. We've got the we've got the uh, the proprietary um, um, coffee, uh, Wake Up, which is a new brand uh, that we started ourselves. We've got the uh, uh, sandwich offerings, which uh, you can have a hot sandwich made up fresh, or we can have some uh, pre-made sandwiches that are made every day. We're going to have fresh fruit, fruit every day in our open air cooler. We're going to have grab and go dinners uh, for folks that are on the run. Uh, we're going to have bakery items. We're going to have a fresh salad bar. Um, we, we've got our, our ice cream, if we can. Excuse me, Dan. Do you mind if we get in there and look at this? So we're, we're live on the air. So um, we've got our, our fresh made ice cream, the Frisbee's ice cream. I think that'll be a big seller here in the in the city. Hi, Susan. So we'll go this way and we'll show you. Excuse me. So we're going to have some seating in this area once we uh, we clear out from the reception, so people will be able to come in and and hang out and have a nice fresh sandwich or some, some food, breakfast and things. You mind if we go outside and uh, look around outside? Hey there, how are you? How are you? Good. Hey Mike, you look good. Hey good, we're on the air. So. so outside we have uh, we have the gas dispensers, but if we could show a picture of the building, that would be great. Mm -hmm. So what, one of the interesting things about our property, and it took us a long time to get here, is that uh, for an urban location, um, especially for all these uses, we have over 28 parking spaces on site. And it's, you could be at the pumps, uh, pumping gas, you could be inside the store, um, but you can also, we can travel around and, and have, you know, be safe and, and well lit at night, especially for our customers. Um, and we can, we can drop product and it won't, uh, it won't tie up won't we'll tie up any of the uh, customers and, 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 and be able to get in and out easily. Um, one of the other things that we did in the design of our building, uh, which I think your, your, uh, your viewers will, will, will appreciate, is you can see in the building and you can see out of the building. So when you're coming up, you can see all the activity inside, but more importantly, our, our employees are looking out onto the entire lot so they can see if there's anything going on that, that shouldn't be or just to, to you know, and they they greet you as soon as you come through the door. So you know, hopefully have a, a, a you know, happy, uh, warm uh, smile when you come into the Noble stations. Would you like to take a walk and we'll go upstairs? And yeah, that would be this? fabulous. Okay.
we spent a lot of time and effort, uh, you know, on the design of the building, mm -hmm. uh, but also the outside as well. We've got a lot of landscaping, and um, again, it's a, it's, it's, we, we're something I want to tell your viewers is we're a locally owned and operated company. You know, we work here in Hartford, we live in Connecticut, mm -hmm. and um, we were part of the community, and that's one of the reasons why we're having this pre-opening reception is to welcome the community and our neighbors so they can see what we're all about. Well, I know I appreciate it. I live like, uh, you know, like not even a block. A block I, I live on the other side of the parking lot. So yeah. for me, this was this is wonderful. And I'm uh, and you sell diesel gas. We do sell diesel because I have a, a diesel car. There, there's not there aren't many stations uh, in the city that sell that. So. Right. Right. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi. Good. All right. So we're going to go upstairs. OK. Hey, guys. Hey. So we have uh, we have eight apartment units, mm -hmm. um, four on the second floor, four on the third floor. Uh, there we have four two bedroom, two bath units. The average size is about eleven hundred square feet, and we have four one bedroom, one bathroom units, where the average size is hello. The average size is uh, between seven hundred nine hundred square feet. Wow! So good, good spacious, you know, good size units. Um, this is this is one of the best. In my opinion, best because we have a, a unique uh, living room setup. Very, very nice. Yeah, you know, one of our, our vendors, Pepsi, gave us some you know some vintage uh, some vintage stuff so we can give away later this evening when nice. people come through. Very nice. Yeah, so it's a it's a higher level finish, mm -hmm. um, similar to our downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that is uh, interesting in the industry, as I see it, is um, you know people in the industry they build for the day, they don't build for the future. Right. And they build based on what their construction costs are and not necessarily what their uh, long-term maintenance costs may be. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll see that the level of finish in our stores is much higher than what you'll see at a, you know, other stations uh, in, the, in the marketplace. Um, you know, everybody likes something that's clean, neat, and, and nice looking. So uh, we're, we're fortunate that we try to to, to raise the raise the bar, if you will, when it comes to this stuff. And as we continue to grow our business and we build more stations, mm -hmm. people, I think, in the in the region will appreciate that. So. Well, this is very, very nice, very forward thinking, and uh, as you say, the finish and the detail is is extraordinary. And uh, wow, what a great view yeah. from uh, down the street. And in fact, I can see some of my uh, Hartford neighbors <laughs> rolling in. They're waving. They're waving. Yeah. <laughs> There's a former councilman, uh, Dr. Robert Painter, and so uh, this is uh, this is fabulous. This is really nice, and and the, the nicest thing, of course, is that you're in Hartford. We're, yeah, we're this is a great <laughs> and investing location, in the so, city. Yeah, well, we we uh, like I say, a lot of folks aren't, and they're doing other things, and mm -hmm. you know, Hartford and in Connecticut in general, we're here, and this is our fifth location. Wow, in just a short few years uh, here in Connecticut, so. We're here to stay, and we're going to continue to grow. Let's, uh, if you don't mind, let's go down to the next unit. Okay. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. All set. This one here is a one-bedroom, one-bath unit. Very nice. And uh, you know, as part of the design, you know, we tried to keep something that was fairly neutral, but also a little bit classy. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the, uh, you know, the, the size of the bathrooms are. You know, what I would rival is a normal house size. You know, you don't feel like you're you're tucked into a real small bathroom in, in you know, in a urban living setting. Right. Um, each of the units has uh, has washer and dryer hookups. Very nice. Which is good. Um, a little balcony with the door. Oh, that's cool. That's great. That's great. Wow. Very, very, very nice. So we're excited to, to, to share this with the, the folks in the neighborhood, and mm -hmm. um, we'll see where it goes. But uh, and we'll give you a tour of the last, the big, the big unit down on the end here. Okay. And we did, we did uh, as part of the, the, the construction and the design is we put a, a lot of extra uh, soundproofing between the, the first floor and the second floor. Right now, we've got a party going on downstairs. You, can't you, you would never know there was anyone down there. Yeah, so uh, from the commercial standpoint, you'll never know anybody's down there uh, while we're here. So this one here, you got another another two-bedroom, two-bath unit. Oh, very nice. You know, good very spacious nice. bedrooms uh, with good-sized closets, too, where people, uh, you know, in the urban setting, too, they, you know, a lot of times they don't have space for storage. Right. 
Very nice. Great. So why don't we head back downstairs because I'm sure somebody's looking for me. <laughs> All right. Head down to the ribbon. Yeah. The ribbon cutting, yeah. Cutting. Hey, guys. Hello. Be live on the air. Gentlemen. <laughs> I'm glad that the rain uh, came through already so we can enjoy the evening. Yes, and this is National Night Out, so for those of you watching, this is the beginning of a long night. So we're gonna go a couple different places today. Watch your step. All set. Watch your step, there you go, great. Hey, we're, we're live on Facebook right now, but uh, oh, right. I'll, I'll okay. come visit you in a minute. Okay. Yeah, thanks, Ken. Yeah. Well, we got a lot of activity here, which is great. So you look perfectly, perfectly normal with, <laughs> normal with the camera. So, all right. so uh, how, how, how should we wrap this up? What do you think? Well, uh, let's see. You want to talk to anybody, or uh, uh, if not, we're we're pretty much good to go. Oh, I think I think we're good. Everybody's enjoying themselves inside, and uh, okay. they're probably not as uh, as as uh, and good in front of the camera as I am. <laughs> So, All right. So, anyways. Well, uh, congratulations on uh, your establishment, and uh, thank you for uh, believing in Harvard enough well, to. Well, uh, I appreciate I appreciate to everybody. Do what I, I, if I could plug one thing, the, uh, yep. the folks in the city, the, the building department, you know, John Collins and his his staff. Scott was amazing, the inspector. Uh, the folks in the planning department did a wonderful job. Uh, you know, every every time I've asked for something, they were very responsive and and willing to help us. Uh, I know a lot of towns, it, it, you know, people get a bad rap, but the uh, city of Hartford has done a good job for us, so we really appreciate that. Fabulous. All right, All right my friend. All right, thank you so much.